Dr. Isaac, as we are chatting before we go on air, I watch many testimonials how people are clearly touched by joining your program. What is your secret? Like, how do you do that with such a variety? Look, thank you so much. And I'm not really surprised to hear a question from you like this, because obviously you've done your research as a yes, I did. surveillance expert. I can't really share with you all the secrets, but I can share with you something, two insights real quick. When I meet the people on my programs on day one, I take a snapshot of who they are and how they're feeling on day one. That snapshot is not a picture. It's emotions, it's very quantitative, it's very measurable. And on day five of the program, I sit down with the same exact person and I do the same exact thing, a snapshot of who they are. And then I ask them, okay, you join me like this after the program, that's where you are now. You look and you tell me, what can you see? And people love to identify the differences for themselves. They like to see it, they like to feel it. It's not the same as somebody else who's actually telling them, ah, oh, look, you know, where you have been, now where you are. They're actually finding that for themselves, which also raise their own awareness. The second thing, people tend to like practicality. Yes. Hands-on stuff, not theories and lectures. Take, for example, public speaking. Public speaking people always tell you, you have to be engaging, you have to maintain that connection. It's not boring, so the people are actually watching and so on and so forth. But very few coaches that will hold your hands, walk with you that journey step by step to get you to do exactly what you need to do to arrive at that theory feeling. Interesting. And it doesn't matter how long that journey takes, people will never ever forget someone that held their hand, walked with them that journey until they stood on their feet again. That's a feeling that can never be forgotten. I get people after 15 years telling me, you are still the best coach I have ever met in my life. Just because I transferred the skill from my side, to their side and now they can see their difference and now they can make a difference being on social media for years from a psychological behavior perspective which platform you like the type of people on it's a very good question i have to be i would say probably i'm biased i would say youtube and TikTok. why is that i'll tell you the reason why and i'll also show you some samples it's a difference that a lot of people don't understand between human transaction human connection and human relation. Interesting. So let's say for example, LinkedIn, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that is experiencing this. A lot of people are getting all these mass communication messages that I really love your profile. I really love yours, nothing really specific. And then asking, I'm wondering if you want to do this or if you want to do that. This is purely human transaction. What's in it for me? What's in it for them? jump to the point. They're not investing in getting to know you, in getting to the emotions, in getting to see how you feel about things. And that's LinkedIn. If you go to Facebook, yes. on the other hand, that's where the surfers are. That's where the ghosts are. That's okay. where the exes are watching. <laughs> they're just watching to see what's happening, all the jealous people. And they're not liking or commenting on your videos. They're just watching to see what have you been up to. They're kind of using it for surveillance kind of. Yes. Thing. And this is just a human, merely human connection. Then you move to YouTube and you move to TikTok, and this is where you see people genuinely interested in you. They really wanna to get to know you. They wanna connect with you. They wanna see you succeed. And they wanna see you have that part of the journey that they are part of. They will drop you a comment saying, you know, I'm wondering how you feel today. If, you sell, if you've said, for example, before that you were sick or something like this. And this is what we call human relation. They're trying to build that relation, something to go above and beyond. And that's why I have met people in person that I met online on YouTube and on TikTok, and I was sitting with them on a table like this, face to face. Face to face. Dr. Isaac, majority of the people identify themselves on social media by their name and surname. But I'm surprised that your brand name, it's a new limitless world. Why is that? It's not a brand. It's a vision. It's a mission that I strive for, to meet and build like-minded people that share that journey so they're not feeling alone to walk that journey. It's a community that I'm trying to build. I never wanted to be rich or never wanted to be famous under my name. The idea here is we are together. And this is why it's a new limitless world. It's not just my world, it's their world as well. Dr. Isaac, thank you for sharing this with us. Pleasure.